Okay, here's a little demonstration of my survival script so far. Um, each tree has got its included. You just make the tree, set it up to start with, and then clone it all around. It's the easy way. Just a tiny little scene, um, and we'll test it, see how it runs. It can take a while to load, so I'll cut this out. Right, here we go. Let's load it up. Here's all the trees. I've got the uh, script on. And I can chop them all down. As you've seen before, if you've watched other videos I've done. Just going to chop a few down. Of course, it's not ideal at the moment. A few issues. But in general, works alright. Anything left there? Oh, I'll pick that up. Yeah, I want to alter that so that you can actually pick things up. And the fall isn't quite working occasionally, like I've said before. When they're already angled like this. And then you chop them down. Sometimes they don't work properly. That one has worked a treat. But it will go under the ground. Which is annoying. But yeah, apart from that, which are the little niggles I've got to sort out before I can release it as a script that's potentially usable. You know, you can configure, you could configure each one, but now it's a general script for each tree. Randomly uh, positions them and rotates them and angles them and whatnot. And I want to make it so you can pick everything up. Take it to your wood shop. There we go. Yes, I've got six wood. Hey, hey. Which I've shown you before again. It's nothing new. We need more commands. Plus, I wouldn't be able to pick the logs up, the trees up, cart them over, drop them in here, perhaps have some sort of apparatus to strip them into logs, get rid of all the branches, that sort of thing. But it's not quite possible as yet. Not without a lot of faffing. It certainly wouldn't be something that you could release as a script that would be easy to use for non-coders. You'd have to be a coder to use it, and that to me is not one that's releasable. So yeah. Anyway. Doing a lot of talking, there we go. It's not exactly super pretty at the moment. I've tried to keep the speed up. 35. It's it's sort of above 30 most of the time. I think it drops down into the 20s here. Yes. 22. Those trees. Those trees. Those damned trees are slowing things down. But yeah, apart from that. Great. And just to prove every tree is choppable. If you don't believe me, which I'm sure you do. Here we go. Chop you. need a sound effect. The script has a sound effect thing enabled. And I did have one at one point, but I can't find it. Oh, I've chopped that one down. I didn't realise. I'll leave you. So yeah, you can create a swathe of devastation at the moment. I mean, I could make it so you don't even have to press E, so you just walk along and the trees fall down like your King Kong. That'd be quite cool. All sorts of um, things you can play around with with a Lewis script in. It's all good fun. Um, but the, yeah, that's it. Until I can get more to work and get my pickup script to work with it, because at the moment it doesn't work. It sort of works, but doesn't work. And that's just down to the, the way the trees are set up at the moment. And I want them to work as default, not, not to have to edit the trees, because that's a pain. If I have to, I have to. But I prefer not to. So yeah, there we go. That's, that's what I'm going to be doing in future. Hopefully, I'm releasing, so you'll be able to chop trees down and gather wood, take it back to some sort of supply depot and drop it down, store it up, build it into something, and that's the start of the game. So yeah, until next time, I'll catch you later.